Hello, we're going to Flying Pine. Welcome to Total War Shogun 2. This is our 400th video as well. And it's our first Total War video. It is. First or strategy video. Yeah? Yeah, I think it might just be. You got here, we've got Vladimir Putin, and we've got Scotch the Cat. Yeah. <laughs> and we, we're Shimazu and Ottoman. Yes. Maybe yeah. because they're close together, and uh, you can see that we're playing a cooperative long campaign, and yeah, there's all the details there. We're going to go on normal because Connor's never played this game ever before. That's true. So this is going to be a learning experience. Because yeah. Flampy ever so kindly bought it for me. It was a, a good gift, I think. Well, let's let's get into it. Oh man, this is exciting. So, the plan is right. The plan is okay. Is well. Both probably have rivals because you usually start off with rival clans, okay. and then you kill that rival, and it should be kind of easy to kill that rival, and then you take over their settlement, and then you can attack whoever you want, or they'll randomly attack you. Okay. So, whenever we make advances in enemy territory, we want to make sure that we're defended well, because we'll just get wrecked otherwise. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Because, like, usually what happens in this game, how you lose, is that uh, you advance too far forward and then your ally suddenly becomes your enemy and takes all of your settlements. Because oh they can. They can just backstab you. And they do it. A lot. I, who am I again? <laughs> I'm on this guy, right? Yeah. Yep, you're up there. I don't know whose turn it is. I think it's mine. So you can't do anything. Okay. I've got a missionary. Oh, oh, do you? Yeah. Look at his hair. He is. I'm gonna probably butcher this name. I'm sorry if I do. He has um, Adalberto. Oh my gosh. Um. Oh, is it Portuguese? Duleveria. Is it Portuguese? I'm not sure. What that oh is. yeah, you're the Portuguese people. Ah. Yeah, that's right. You're the uh, clan. It's like, I haven't played this in ages, and I don't know all of the clan traits, but you're the people who have really good ties with um, the western world. Man, so got... you're you're the people who have like uh, European cannons and European rifles and things like that. That's pretty cool. There's a bunch of people like walking along a, a trade route with, with like... Um... Oh yeah, that's just background stuff. It's not important. That's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to go on my... I'm going to explain what I'm doing with each... Okay, um, I'm clicking on my settlement. I'm going to look over at your uh, your place over here. Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go on my settlement and I'm going to... I think I'm going to upgrade... Yeah, I'm going to upgrade... Maybe my blacksmith. Ooh. Oh, man. I wish it was you. You've got all the green stuff. That's fancy. Oh. Yeah, I'll go for... I'm going to go for... Yeah. A blacksmith. Okay. And I should recruit some stuff as well. So uh, it's basically just building one building, whatever I want is. I'll, I'll recommend the building to you. Okay, sure. And for my army, I've got to make sure that I build soldiers as well. So I'm going to build uh, two samurai. Katana samurai. Nice. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. And then I'm going to go on diplomacy and see who we're on enemies against. I am against uh, Ioto, who is in between us, I think. Yeah, they're... So, I don't know if you're enemies with them, but they're they're below you. They're the purple people below you. Okay, the purple people are yours. Yeah. You've got two settlements as well, so you all have to sort out both of your settlements. Oh, damn it. But it doesn't matter. I usually congregate and have one army to start off with. So, yeah. Okay, let's have a look over here. There's a settlement here. Okay. Right, I'll end my turn then. Okay. Actually, I've got to do research. So let's okay. research that. Where are these people coming from and going? They're like crossing a border here. They're going like into the, the map. Oh, now it's your turn. It is. My camera freaked so, out. So, first of all, go on Busan. Yeah, oh. it automatically um, teleports your. Uh, Things you the thing that needs doing, yeah. So over here at Boozen, yeah. So you've got a navy, so you can push that boat. Uh, you can make that boat go all around the coastline. So if you want to, you can scout with that boat 
and keep okay. going south. I guess if I like send it over here. Yeah, it's just right click, send it as far as you can south. Oh, can I just keep going with it? Like I can't. Yeah, south. I can see how far you can move. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Can you uh, not go down? I didn't want to go down. I want to explore the coast. But I'll go uh, down here. Yeah. Um, you can't go forever. Like eventually, you run out of moves. It, I think I might be out. Okay. Yeah, you're out of moves. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now go on, go to the top, and then go on Boozum. Over here, Boozum. Yeah. And on construction, uh, on that construction site, what can you build? Um, I've got a stronghold, but that's too expensive for me at the moment. I can't build a fortress. No, on the construction site, it's the like a cleaver and a, a hatchet. Oh, I see. Yeah. When you hover over it, what's it let you build? We've got leased land. I don't want to be doing that. We've got a, sh a, a sake den, a yeah. yari drill yard. Stables, yeah. and yeah. and a chapel, and the other stuff I don't think I can afford yet. Or can I? I know I can. I can also have a bushido, an encampment, a market, or a siege engineer's workshop. What can you have? Sorry again. What was the bushido? Um, is there a bushido here? I can What's make that? a chapel, a siege engineer's workshop, a market, an encampment, a sword school, stables. A Yari drill yard or a sick den? Oh, it's a snake den, not sick. It's S A K E. Oh, a sake den. That might be it. A I thought a snake den because you buy like ninjas. Oh, a sake. Um, can you build uh, when you go into like our army uh, or recruitment? Can you build um, the samurai yet, or is um, it only Yari? I can build both samurai, but not. Normal samurai. No, just Yari. Build a sword school then. Do you need school. samurai? Uh, oh, oh, oh yeah, there it is. Okay, sword school. Sword school. And then go on uh, down south, and then oh. go on. I Bungo. think I need. I need mastery of the arts. I need to learn bushido. Uh, okay. Um, go on. Uh, the bottom right. There's um a sword and a calligraphy pen. Yes, yeah. thing. Click on that, and then on the left hand side, there's Bushido. So just yeah. click on that, and we'll it, wait a couple of turns. It put me that up when I tried to build my sword then. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, so um, in, in your construction, just upgrade your rice paddies. How do we go Because like it gives you more money and food, so you can sustain your armies. I don't think. Where are my rice paddies? I don't think I have rice paddies. Oh right, I'm sh I'm looking at both of your cities. Sorry. That's cool. Um, yeah, d don't do that then. Go on, um, Bungo. It's on Bungo. You can upgrade your rice paddies. All right, get okay, we're here, at Bungo. Where's and then upgrade your rice paddies. paddies. Oh yeah, you're Christians as well, by the way. Nice. Um, um, you're you're Christians because the um, Portuguese came over and converted you and gave I... you European weaponry. Where are my rice paddies? I can't see them. On Bungo? Yeah. So click on the settlement. We're on it. And then Rice Paddies is a little mud hut thing. There it is. Yeah, improved immigration or just Rice Paddies? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Just upgrading those. It gives you money. It's just upgrading farms. Standard game thing for upgrading money and food. Nice. And. Oh, Build for them. your army, you want to build recruit. You want to go recruitment. So you want to recruit in Bungo because your enemies are like south. Yeah. Okay. To start off with, they're south anyway. But so we're 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 gonna attack. Oh, actually, you could attack north. Yeah, let's do that. You you go like west, and I'll go east or something like that. Oh no, uh, I'm trying to make the decision. Okay, you can have Hayuga, which is below you. So, on Bungo, go to recruitment and see what you can recruit. On Bungo. Uh, we can have a Yari Ishigaru, a Bo Ashigaru, or an imported. What the hell is that? Match Chalk. Or Match Chalk. Match Lock. Match Lock. lock. That might do it. Ashigaru. <laughs> yeah. Um, get some uh, Yari. Alright, let's, let's have a bit of Yari. Yari is spear. Yeah, they're in my queue now. Did you keep so, them there? Just get 
two of those, and you should be all right. All right. And let's get all of your guns in one place as well. So in Boozen, you've got one gun guy. Um, I do. Yeah, in your army. Okay. And it says army on the settlement. Ah, yes, I see. So. Let's get all of your guys, because I like having guns together because the range is different on archers and these guns. Okay. So I like having all of my guns together, so I would recommend, because it's easier to manage, um, send in your all of your guns into Bungo, and then all of your bows into Boozen. Okay, so, so there's one of each in each. So my guns are going down to Boozen. Oh wow, look at them go! So it's just one unit of matchlocks heading down to Bungo, and then from Bungo the archers are heading up to Boozen, yeah? They're on their way. There he is, look at him go. Okay. So they'll just do that automatically whenever you end your turn, because you clicked on the settlement, didn't you? Right-clicked oh, wow. on it. Yes, yeah, they took little seats, they're on like little stools. And they've got like red, did they have a red marker showing them where they're going to walk next turn? Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure. So if you don't oh. command them by next turn, it means that I'll automatically walk them there at the end of your turn? Yeah, I think one of them does, the other one doesn't. Okay. So yeah, ends your turn. You're, you're right. done. We're off to a good start, I'd say. Yeah. This is just the management side of it, and then we'll get into battles soon enough. Once you build up that army at the bottom, once you get those uh, two Yari and you've got your other gun down there, then we can manage that army and attack. Yeah, uh, what's going on now? Like the, the icons at the top are just like spinning out. This is going through all of the AI teams. Oh wow, that was a lot of map. them. Yeah, there is a lot of them. And now we're over here with Flying Fly. So, yeah, it's my, my turn. Where are you? And I'm still waiting to construct stuff at the moment. Oh man, look at this, you've got like a, a blacksmith here. That's pretty cool. I'm building it at the moment. That's nifty. So I'm also going to build right paddies because it improves food. And you need food to feed your armies, that's like the main thing. Uh, if we don't want our armies to starve to death, that, that's not an no. important way to die. It's basically like population, it's like a population cap. Like, if you, there's no cap on population, but if you have too many men, they won't get fed and then they'll die. And yeah. then you have really low morale, so that's the way that they keep it to a, a low. So I'm just going to end my turn because there's basically nothing to do. Yari Right. Oh, Yashiaru doesn't... provide excellent defense against enemy cavalry charges, but their tight formations leave them vulnerable to missile troops. Are you getting this too? Skilled infantry no. units. Oh, I'm getting a video on the Yari Yashigaru. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Whenever you build a new unit in the game, it shows you that. To show you what they are. And it yeah. tells you a description of like what they're good against and stuff. Yeah. Good against cavalry. That's pretty cool. So is it my turn now? To yeah. Send people places. Yeah. So send your uh, continue sending your archer up north and your gun down south. Yeah. You, uh... And how are your yari? Ah, oh, your yari are already here. Should I keep my boat running around the other uh, south as well? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep that exploring over here. You just want to um, like map around uh, the coastline of where our enemy is, the Iota clan. Yeah, Ioto clan. Ioto clan. Um, so your missionary as well, he can head westwards, and he, what your missionary can do, he can like incite unrest, which is a percentage chance. He can uh, cause a revolt in their town, so rebels will attack them. Oh wow! You can also do other things, uh, but I can't remember what they were. But you just send him to enemy towns and break them down. So you could send him to Hygo if you wanted to. They're not our enemies yet, but they probably will be in the future. Because once we finished up with the purple guy that's down south, we'll probably want to get past this guy. And the only way to get past him is take over a settlement. So. Okay. Who should I send over to Hygo then? Hygo, the missionary. Is that my? Yeah. Okay. This guy. You really? I just want to send him over. Yeah. Oh man, that seems risky. Oh, what's oh this? no! He can't get attacked. They're invulnerable. Oh nice. I, I've got agent options. Do I want to demoralize their army or incite revolt? Um, just stand him over there. Okay, we'll just have him... Oh, I don't think I can get him that near. Yeah, because if you do either of that, they will wage war on you, I think. Yeah, look how he walks. Good grief, that's fantastic. 
So yeah, they're, although they're invulnerable, they they can buy special units that can kill these guys. Yeah, and they're you... called like they're called like um I can't remember what they're called, but they're specifically made to kill spies and um monks and priests and things and enemy like sabotage basically. That's not cool. And ninjas and things like that. <clears throat> yeah, well, he's just knelt down like by their land now. Yeah. That means he's run out of time, like yeah. turn. So uh, now you're all you're all set to end your turn. I think. Nice. I don't think you've got anything else to do. Does that mean I'm Christian as well? I'm quite interested now. Hmm. Oh no, I'm not Christian. I don't think. Oh, I th what's this? Oh, something he's gonna going attack on. you. I think. Yes, yeah, something's he's going at, on in my my bosom. He's at peace with you, but he looks like he's gonna attack you. He's, so uh, as soon as you get your bows in there, you should be fine if he attacks you. It, I I wait for him to attack first. I won't like start on him. No, you'll be fine. Man, that's okay, bad. so uh, it's, it's my like turn. The, like changes seasons is freaking awesome. Yeah. Oh man, you're like face to face with this purple guy here. Oh, am I? Is there a purple guy like right in front of me? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the enemy. You look quite angry about it. It's one archer. I think it's time for a battle. Ooh. Can yep. I get a cinematic on this if I press like K or Oh no, this isn't the this is just the Oh, I can't get past him. Oh. I couldn't walk past this archer, so it made me walk all the way around the outside. <laughs> I didn't want to do that, so I just sat down on my chair. <laughs> well, that was weird. Like you're throwing okay. a strop, like, if you won't let me pass him, you're gonna sit right here. So, yes, uh... What you wanna do is get, uh, now it's your turn. Um, you wanna get, of course, you wanna get your bows up into Boozen, because you're just about to be attacked. Ah, so, probably Bushido. on his next turn, it's probably literally, as soon as you press end turn this turn, he's gonna attack you. Okay, I just mastered Bushido, and I'm now studying the strategy of defense. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. So we go back over here. We go back over to. Uh... Actually, no, don't don't uh, do strategy of defense. Do um. Oops. On the on uh, go on mastery of the arts again. It's at the bottom. Yeah, I'm here now. And and go way of chi. Way of chi. Ah. Because yeah. oh. you want um, it allows you to build markets, which makes you money. So you want to balance out a bit. That's cool. So we've got this guy just all up in my grill. Just sitting down on a bridge. Do I do I leave him there? Um, as I said, put your bows in your north settlement and put your guns in your in your bungo. Yeah, my bow guys are here now. <laughs> put your guns in your bungo. <laughs> <laughs> now build um two yari. Uh, we're in bungo or in Boozen? In Boozen. Uh, you, probably, you need a an army there as well to defend. Yeah. It won't be built in time, and you'll be able to survive the attack, I think. Oh, no, you Hopefully. won't. You'll probably no. lose that settlement. Gosh damn, I probably just got it. Uh, I might, oh, I'll have to take over, because th that's going to be a really difficult fight. Oh, wow. Alright, well, I've queued up two Yari. Um, is that good? Is it my turn? Um, I think you're done, yeah. Right, there's a lot of, like, there's there's times when you've got loads of stuff going on, times when you've got, like, nothing going on, so, yeah, you're oh, cool. I forgot to move my boat. That. That's fine. Doesn't matter too much. Boats yeah. don't really do that much except from. Oh! Something's gone. He just set my place on fire. Okay, it looks like we've got a fight. Gosh damn! Um, it. So. How dare he? I'll click spectate, you click. Uh, don't click auto resolve. Don't click that. No. Click fight battle. Here it is. I'll spectate you. Our first battle. Wow, this was quick. Oh man. Upon capturing all key buildings within a multiplayer battle timer, oh, a timer will begin to count down. Unless a key building is changed, wait, what? Unless a key building changes hands during this time, the owner, in bracket S, uh, of these buildings will be awarded victory once time runs out. I might have to take over here because I don't want you to lose your settlement. Yeah, that might be for the best. And this is the Battle of Kokura, 1545. I'm waiting for uh, you to finish. I'm loading. waiting for you to load in. Yeah. yeah. So my alliance is the 
Kobayaka. Oh, how do I pronounce that? The Kobayakawa. The Chikahuari. Oh, um, Chikaharu. There we go. And we're against the Shoni Sukemoto. And there's like a scary looking horse there. I was just not trying to pronounce it. It's yeah, it's probably for the best. You'll yeah. probably just offend people. Yeah, I'm sorry if you're offended by my pronunciation of things. <laughs> so what's the plan here? Um, give all your troops to me, basically. So select all your troops, <laughs> and I'll give them back to you. But I'll manage it. All so right. select all your troops. They're you know, here. dragon, dragon, select all. I just do control A. Or you can do that, or you can just drag. You know, with your mouse, drag over all of them. Select all. Mm. That works. Now how do I uh, how do I send these guys over? Uh, I think it's like at the bottom. It's uh, at the bottom left. Share units. It's a present. Yes, there it is. And then, yeah, just click it and then give it to me. All of them, yeah, that's right. Uh, have you got more? Yeah. Oh, look at this. So I should be like spectating this now. Alright, I'm gonna give you retainers. So, uh, you can have those just little samurai guys. They're not that big a deal, but. Hey, I feel like I get to do something. But there's no point in setting up because we've got such a small army and you might as well just click start battle. Because I don't know what direction they're coming from. So let's start battle and then we'll figure yeah. out where they're coming from. Yep. Let's go. Here it is. It's nice because you've actually got archery towers as well. So your um, settlement, if it's attacked, uh, those archery towers will just shoot the enemies. So it's pretty good. Yeah. Is it the enemies like all the way over here? There to the right. Yes, yeah. I think they're only coming from the right. Usually they come from two, two directions. That's why I didn't really like concentrate in one place yeah. so you can do whatever you want with your guys which are my guys they're these guys As here. except from send them outside the castle because you'll die <laughs> so <laughs> I just gotta run them around inside this castle well you can attack and stuff they will attack this castle look at them you should uh, stand them still and have a look at your army they're pretty cool I like the models in this have a, have a look at them walking press K letter K ah, letter of course. K action. cinematic mode look at this well, they're all, like charging towards me. That's freaking awesome. Can you spot which one's your general? He's got the jacket on. Yeah, it's the guy right in the front middle. Yeah. He's walking right towards the camera. That's a freaking cool show. So they're all really strong because you're they're, they're your general unit, but they will die. Oh man, can I like smooth camera this? If I like, no, I can't do. That. Oh no, that's not your general. Sorry, I've got your general. This Are is you? your general. Yeah. I've got some dude wearing a jacket though. Yeah, the, us because he's the leader of your retainers. So. Oh, man. Sorry, I got that wrong completely. But look at your general. I've got control of him. He's here. Where is he? Let's have a look at him. Is he like up against the fence here? He's the small unit. Where'd he go? He's always a small unit. Next to the castle. What, is he on a horse? Nope. He got off his horse. Where is he? Oh, I guess it's one of these guys then. Not Spears. He's got uh, like a big present on his back. Yeah. Which one is he? Um, I don't know if I can see him. Here. It's kind of easy to spot. You know why? Because he doesn't have a present. Oh, so is it this guy? It's the guy smack bang in the middle. Yeah. There he is. Hello, General. Oh, I zoomed in too far, and his hat vanished, and you could just see his forehead. <laughs> yeah. You can do that with their eyeballs too. <laughs> their freaking, eyeballs pop in. That's freaking kind of cool. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> meanwhile, yeah, meanwhile there's a battle going on. From where? Um, yeah, you should just fast forward. At the top there's a fast forward button. So just go to three, fast forward, and then like click off it straight away. Click click on fast forward and then click on play. Oh. And then play. Yeah. Just to speed it up a tiny bit. Yeah, I didn't He's getting off that. his horses. And our archers are shooting. Oh. oh, look at this. I'm getting a cinematic on this. This is amazing. Look at that. These my guys over here. Oh wow, I want to get down on like their side and look at this from their point of view. Dude, there's a lot of them. There's like a hail of arrows. Yeah, but it's only peasants. Yari. Oh, You'll get used to the over. units. Yeah, they died from arrows. That's pretty darn cool. Oh wow, oh, wow. he's got bows too. That's cheap. Two bow units. Oh, look at the dead body. Wow, I just like left him behind. Dude, this camera angle. It's pretty darn nifty. 
Okay, I've got to pull the archers back. Yeah. Okay, how do I, uh, I should probably do something with my guys, shouldn't I? What can I do with these guys? You can just run them to the walls, because look, they're climbing the walls now. Whoa! Yeah. Alright, they're going over. This is actually terrifying. <laughs> That's fine. We'll, we'll be fine, don't worry. Look at these guys, they're freaking going for this. Oh my god. Are we okay? Yeah, we're fine. We're outnumbered, but we're fine. This is... Um, gosh damn it, the freaking camera buttons. I'm sorry to anyone watching this and getting annoyed at my camera buttons. Look, because it, as they climb off, uh, up, some guys fall off. And uh, as I said before, the peasant units have really bad morale. So that one's wavering already. It means they're ready to run away. Nice. But when it flashes white like that, it means they're um, going to run away soon. Yep, they're running away. Yeah, you cowards. Where are they? Good. Oh, man. Look, the sounds they're making, too. Listen to that. This is like, this is really chaotic. Yep. Total War. There's a reason why they call it Total War. Yeah. There's, put, there's some poor guy like here in the wall. Oh yeah, you're, are you letter K'ing in the wall, are you? Yeah, I was like K'ing around the place. Where are my guys? Are they all okay? Yep, they're fine. They were nice. fighting. They were actually doing something good. Yep. What's my count going? My master's in the bottom right. Oh, look, screen. they lay their spears over the top of the window, so as they climb up, they've got to get past spears. That's yeah. kind of cool. Look at all the dead bodies! Gosh damn oh, it. Do you think this is big? This is like the smallest armies you have in this game. Dude, the casualties, though. Yeah. Oh my god, and the flag is still, like, waving. Oh, this is tragic. And that guy's, like, pulling the face as he did. And they don't die. Like, if you look at the archers, there's still guys, like, crawling around on the floor and not dead yet. Pretty grim. Oh, That's too much for me to handle. So we got this. See? We got this. I would like to think we've got this. There's horses here with no one on them. Can I attack? Oh, dude, that. Why well, he fell off and died? I watched that. Holy hell, that was like. That was graphic. Gosh damn. Yep. The dudes with the backpacks are coming up. Yep. I have no idea what those actually are. Oh, they're ceremonial, like, but I don't you know, know what they're for. So his general's gonna like destroy uh, my Yari, as you'll see. Like my numbers will drop significantly. Oh man, is that us running away? No. They're just running around because they can't find a unit to fight. Yeah. Did we win? They were like, yep, they ran away. We won. Hey! They didn't breach our walls. If they breached our walls, then we would have died. But. I got three achievements for that. <laughs> so there you go. And you get yeah. the nice music as well. Yeah. Oh, four achievements. Holy hell. There is no... There can be no doubt oh. this is a great victory. The enemy are dead or running for our lives. Decisive victory. And the battle will save the replay. <laughs> wow. wow. That, that was a good morale booster right there. We just... We won. We freaking won! Man, this music is good. I hope it's not too loud, but it, it is good. And on that bombshell. Man, are we wrapping it up there with the yeah. victory? We're, we're gonna wrap it up there with the with the win. Man. That was good. That's a good start. That's a very good start, I'm happy with that. Man. That was our four hundredth video, that's impressive. So there it is, this, the unit review, a decisive victory. Yeah. Wow. You'll be able to see his guy, like, back off afterwards. Yeah, he just walked off. away from my burning building and sat on see, his stool like a loser. As you'll see, just one last thing before we finish. Um, yeah. He walked away and sat down because he attacked you, so he yeah, gets yeah. to walk away. But if, if we chased down those men that were running away from us when we won, um, we would have hunted them down and killed enough of them. Um, his whole army would have been depleted, and he, that unit would have died. Like that was, it's, it's just a representative. That representative of that army would have died because there would be no units left. 
to fight. Yeah. So all it is is like a picture, a 3D picture of the army, like a representative, like chess or something like that. That's really cool. So there you go. Well, there it is. There was our 400th video, and it was Total War Shogun 2. And I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please feel free to like, comment, favorite, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.